What's going on? Thanks for joining me for this video series in which I go over five technical service bulletins, otherwise known as TSBs for the WRX with a CVT transmission and also some for the six speed manual version of the car. Now these are five important ones that I feel you should be aware of as of the release of this video. This list is of course not all inclusive. If you're wondering what TSBs are, why they are important and how you can get them, I did a whole video on that so I highly suggest you watch that and of course I'll link to the video in the description and right above here. I'll also list all of these TSBs in the description with more info in case you want to do more research on your own. Most of these you can get by doing a simple Google search. What I'm going to share is for your informational awareness. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your car, that you should take your car to get checked or that any of these issues will ever end up affecting you. Keep in mind that most cars have TSBs as they are a tool to help dealers fix common issues. Again, check out that video for more information and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more WRX, CVT and general automotive content. Alright, let's get to it. Number one on my list is Subaru CVT warranty extension. Initially, Subaru extended the warranty of 2015 WRXs and other models with CVT transmissions as you see here. It has since offered that extension to 2016 to 2018 models as well. If you have a newer CVT, it's worth checking with Subaru of America to see if you're included. This extension increases the limited powertrain warranty from its original 5 years or 60,000 miles to 10 years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. It also offers reimbursement for any other costs incurred by repairs to the transmission after the expiration of the original warranty, but before the expiration of this one. This is a pretty substantial increase. I'll also note that if you purchased additional powertrain warranty before this extension, it might be worth calling Subaru of America to see if you can get reimbursement for that. If you're wondering why this extension to begin with, this TSB offers some clues. It references five other TSBs which cover prevalent issues with the CVTs like transmission fluid seepage which I'll go over as well as other issues that do not pertain to the CVT in the WRX so it seems Subaru offered the warranty extension for all of the models with the CVT as a blanket precaution. Finally, remember that Subaru states Please note that this is not a recall as it does not impact the safety of your vehicle. If your vehicle is operating as designed, you do not need to take your vehicle to a Subaru retailer for repairs. Number two on this list is a TSB covering the TCM programming. If you have an early model WRX CVT and you have issues with inconsistent shifting or slipping of the transmission, it's worth seeing if your TCM was reprogrammed. Many people report substantial improvements to the drivability of the car after having the TCM logic reflashed with this file at the dealer. The TCM is your transmission control module and it talks to the ECM to control the car shifting. As stated in the TSB, this programming is already incorporated into newer vehicles. And speaking of reprogramming, number three on this list is a TSB to reprogram the ECM this time or the engine control module to address issues with boost pressure under wide open throttle and idle smoothness. This particular TSB had a notification campaign, so more than likely affected vehicles were already reprogrammed. But if you happen to have purchased a used 2015 WRX CVT, especially from a private party, you would do well to make sure that this was completed on it. Not only will the ECM be reprogrammed, but they will also check for any possible damage already caused. A vehicle not reprogrammed can suffer from knocking that can lead to catastrophic engine failure over time. One interesting item noted in the TSB is that you must remove any aftermarket ECM tuning, like an access port tune, before the ECM is reflashed. Number four is the TSB addressing transmission fluid seepage. This is good to know because it shows you what to look for if you ever find yourself under the car doing an oil change or installing a mod. If you see any seepage accumulation as you see here, you should immediately take your car to the dealer for an inspection. More than likely, they'll end up removing the CVT's oil pump cover and resealing it as outlined in this TSB. In some cases, people have gotten their entire transmission replaced under warranty as a precautionary measure. For number five is a TSB that will be applicable for any CVT that consistently throws a P0841 code for the secondary oil pressure sensor. The troubleshooting that goes into figuring out the source of the problem is quite extensive, but I included this one because of the very first item in the flowchart. While something as simple as a malfunctioning sensor can be the cause, the first step is to assess the condition of the CVT fluid. And of course, if the fluid is burnt or otherwise deteriorated, this TSB mandates the replacement of the whole transmission. Obviously, not a trouble code to take lightly. 
As I cover these TSBs, you may notice that the 2015 WRX CVT, being the first year WRX with the transmission, suffers from more issues covered from TSBs than newer models. Of course, this is a natural consequence of the car being the guinea pig of the 2015 plus generation. As more issues become common, Subaru creates TSBs to help dealers fix these issues and of course, any correction to an issue covered in a TSB for a 2015 will likely already be applied from the factory to a 2016 model and so on. So the model years get progressively more reliable as the years pass. If this video was useful to you, be sure to check out the others in the series where I cover five more important TSBs. And of course, if you appreciate it, give it a like, leave your comment below and consider subscribing and hitting that bell to be notified when I release another video that can be useful to you. Thanks a lot for watching and take care.